Yes. Don't grieve, critic. It is logical. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Shut up, I'm talking. Oh, sorry. I never had much use for that stupid ring until now. What do you think of my solution? Mati. Ben, and always shall be your friend. The power is yours. Oh. Of all the souls I've ever met on my travels, his was the most... Party.
Fix the log. Star date. Um, Thursday. It's been one year since our battle with Malachite. We won. And yet I feel a certain unease. The death of Mati left a hole in my heart that can't be filled. The critics have returned to their jobs, and for them, life goes on. But for me, the house feels empty. Like my 26-year-old freeloading Indian child has left for college, never to return. It's a feeling I'm not used to. Hello? Hey, Film Brain. Nostalgia Critic! How wonderful to hear your voice! What have I done wrong? What? Well, it's just that whenever you contact one of your reviewers, it's either to criticise them or to fire them. Please don't fire me, Mr. Critic! No, 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 it's not that. It's just... I just need somebody to talk to. Oh. Well, anything in particular? I don't know. It's just... You ever wonder what it's like to be forgotten, to be cast aside? Well, now that you mention it... I didn't think so. It's just... <sighs> my tea, you know? I... I never thought I'd end up missing him. You're probably feeling guilty. No, nah, that's not it. Okay. I feel... powerless. I mean, everything I do seems to have a negative impact on somebody. I... I just wish there was a way I could fix it. How? You dumped his ashes into an oatmeal can and then launched him into space? Yeah, that was a weird request in his will. Which you wrote... He would have wanted it that way. After his death... As I had to. In his blood... Well, if you had a pen... Critic, you don't have to come to terms with the fact that Matee is part of that complete breakfast in the sky now. <sighs> Look, I can see him bothering you. Just go back to making reviews. Of course! And if you ever need someone to talk to again... Nostalgia Critic? Yeah. You're under house arrest. What? Under what charges? Terrorism! Murder! And a complete disrespect for absolutely brilliant filmmaking! These are the crimes by the internet personality Nostalgia Critic, and I will not rest until he faces the cool hand of justice! Who are you? I am Tal, last survivor of the once proud and mighty Cyclone Empire, and I am here to prove that the nostalgia critic is a renegade and terrorist. Roll the footage! Not only is he responsible for the destruction of my home planet, but he also invaded a micronation, stole valuable goods, and besmirched my cinematic masterpiece, Battlefield Earth! I demand the extradition of the nostalgia critic! I demand justice! Mr. Hurl. Tell! Whatever. From what I understand, your movie got 2% on Rotten Tomatoes. I demand justice! These internet reviewers clearly have too much power! It's a moot point anyway. The Judiciary Committee has already voted. When they pass the Sucker Bill... Sucker Bill? Stop the Unstoppable Copyright Killers Act. Reviewers like the Nostalgia Critic won't even be in business anymore. Then the critic goes unpunished. The nostalgia critic will be charged with 1,764 violations of the FCC regulations. FCC regulations? That's outrageous! <laughs> Remember this well, stupid humans. There will be no peace between our planets as long as the nostalgia critic lives. I vow that I will fall. This vow is brought to you by Innerjoda. It's not an energy drink, it's not a soda, it's Innerjoda. Did you just place a commercial over my dramatic speech? Cutbacks. The government sometimes gets extra money through advertisements. Well, how many times is that gonna happen? This question is brought to you by Energy Chips. They're not energy, they're not chips. Actually, yes they are. This is an abomination. These critics are consummate snowball artists. Uh, yes, sir. People think they're watching reviews. So they tune into these bozos who put on scatological rants filled with pop culture references. Some people might think you're overreacting. Some are asking if there's a need for sucka. <laughs> I mean, I know you're their sponsor and all, but a lot of people don't see internet critics as a threat. These charlatans are threatening freedom and making it harder to protect our corporate oligarchies. 
Smurfs 2 may have to be cancelled. <gasps> and what about the Alvin and the Chipmunks movies? There could be no more squeakles. Well, with all due respect, I think audience is disinterest. Inconceivable! Chipmunks eating poo is the epitome of high art. You paid someone to write that? I wrote it myself. Find this tour fellow immediately. He may be of some use to us. Now to draft some internet policy. Oh, I can't turn it on. Someone call the IT guy. I know I can't turn it on. No, really, I don't know where the on button is. Really. Really. Uh, emer emergency meeting, guys. Emergency meeting. Uh, somebody wake up, Joe. This is an emergency meeting of the Space Research Committee. Roll call. CR, present. Oh, that sci-fi guy, present. Angry Joe? Ready to kill you. Then let this meeting commence. Astro Sempa Fidelis. 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 Yeah, uh, what they said. Okay, since we started the Space Research Committee, we have had one goal in our minds. To get rich. No, to boldly find what no man has found before. And get rich off it. And for all the time we spent, night after night, what have we encountered? Rocks. Rocks. A shitload of rocks. Then there was that thing that you thought was a UFO? But that was a rock. Well, take a listen to what I heard today. Okay, I am running a scan. Let me see if I can use my satellite to get a lock on it. Uh, all preliminary scans check. This is legit. Listen to the pulses on that thing. The gravitational pull has to be stupendous! Whatever it is, it's gigantic. Okay, tracking complete source point is confirmed as... Jupiter. Jupiter? Yeah, and uh, is it me or does it look like it's getting bigger? <laughs> 